Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, so let me shout out the Pali First Earth channel. Nagpunta rito at nag-join sa devotional. Shout out and God bless to Sing Shia Love, Rosel Badong, Nanay Amakolda, P. Hops, Will C. Joy Lacomba, SSC TV of Korea, Love's Go Winter Channel, Des Villa, Molik Salamada, Saiki Karyon, Michael Aborita, Foreman's Work, Yens TV, Connie Blog, Loris Channel, Heart Ponsalan, Retro Blog, Honey Love, Heart Villeta, Leo Baco Teco, Bon Anthony Balmoria, Jusalin Co Studio, Pamilya Lagan Channel, City Dean Quadra, and even to, do, to those who did not join us during the premium but still, napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all guys. Kamusta? Sana nakapagsiba tayo, no? Kasi it's Sunday. Ito talaga yung dalangin ko, guys, na uh, we will go together as a family sa pagsimba, no? Ang ganda kasi tinan na the whole family is there na nagsimba. Kasi the family that prays together stays together. Kaya let's uh, spend time with our family. O, oh, yung mga young people dyan, no? Dapat nang spend time tayo sa family natin. I guess it's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 12 to 20. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the word is so simplified na maintenance talaga natin. Okay, the, the word of the Lord in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 12 to 20 says, This is about the body but many parts. The body is a unit though it is made up of many parts. And though all its parts are many, they form one body. So it is with Christ, for we were all baptized by one spirit into one body, whether Jews or Greek, slave or free, and we were all given the one spirit to drink. Now the body is not made up of one part, but of many. If the food should stay because I am not a hand, I will not belong to the body. I would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. And if the ears should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not, for that reason, cease to be part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has arranged the parts of the body every one of them just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, let's pray. Yes, Lord God, it was described that our body is made up of many parts and it become one body. Lord, like us, wherever you have placed us, sa family, sa church, sa community, sa school, or sa offices, kung saan man kami, we belong to one body. We have different parts, we have different gifts, and may we use it for your greater glory. They can mag, uh, malfunction, but instead, we'll be functioning well for your greater glory. Lord, we pray for those who are here na dito ngayon nakinig, although kukunti lang kami, but uh, when one or two are gathered in your name, you are in our midst. Thank you, dear God. We commit all these things to you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, our Focus verse for this evening is found in 1 Corinthians 12, 13. It says, We were all baptized by one spirit so as to form one body. So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is The Greatest Symphony. When BBC Music Magazine asked 151 
of the world's leading conductor to list 20 of what they believe to be the greatest symphonies ever written, Beethoven thirds. Eroica came up on top. Wow, I really like that Beethoven, no? Okay, and then ang Beethoven kasi. The work whose little means heroic was written during the turmoil of the French Revolution, but it also came out of Beethoven's own struggle as he slowly lost his hearing. Ah, oh, grabe, no? Conductor siya pinula yung hearing. The music evoked extreme swing of emotion that expressed what it means to be human and alive while facing challenges. Through wild swing of happiness, sadness, and virtual triumph, Beethoven's third symphony is regarded as the timeless tribute to the human spirit. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians deserves our attention for a similar reason. Through inspired words, rather than musical scores, it rises in blessing in chapter 1, verse 4 to 9. Falls in the sadness of soul-crossing conflict in uh, chapter 11, verses 17 to 22, and rises again in the unison of gift, uh, gifted people working together for one another and for the glory of God in chapter 12, verse 6 to 7. The difference is that here we see the triumph of our human spirit as a tribute to the Spirit of God. As Paul urges us to experience together the inexpressible love of Christ, he helped us see ourselves as called together by our Father, led by His Son, and inspired by the Spirit. Not for the noise, but for the contribution to the greatest symphony of all. Amen! <laughs> Kaya, ano guys eh, uh, I really love to sing. Uh, dati sa choir ako, no? pero ngayon wala na. Nasa congregation na lang. And so I really love to sing, uh, hymnal, praise and worship. no? Kasi you are singing the symphony together with God, together with the Spirit, and even perhaps together with the angels na nasa loob ng uh, fellowship, no? sa, sa simbahan. So yun, kaya the greatest symphony sa kay Beethoven, no, grabe, yes, nakita ko yung how we conduct, yung emotion niya talaga, ang ganda ng kamay niya pa, pa ganun, ganun, no. Uh, I really appreciated Beethoven, pero yun pala, no, and nawawala na pala yung hearing niya. There is joy, but yet there's also something emotional that happens sa kanya. But praise God, hindi na, ano, uh, nahinder yung work sa Beethoven symphony, but yet it goes on. Sa buhay natin, guys, dapat symphonize, synchronize, may symphony yan. No? Kaya na kay Beethoven, marami tayong pihandaanan, but yet when we sing together, we pray together, well, God hears our prayer. No? He really listens to our prayer. I guess I proceeded to the question, where do we hear the dissonance of conflict in your own life. Uh, marami, marami. Kaya we need to be sensitive sa surroundings natin, sa sarili natin. Uh, it will be repaired by God so we can go back serving God also. Huwag natin ba yung walain yun na uh, patuloy tayo sa pag-backslide. No? Kaya nung sinabi ko sa previously na uh, isang matanda na backslide, buti na lang daw. <laughs> <laughs> tinuluan ko siya na ano, ma-revive yung spirits niya. Nga na-revive nga siya before she died. Oh, so yun. Second question, where do you see the symphonic harmonies of love? Yung, when we're together as a family of God, no? fellowshipping, singing, no? sharing testimonies, hearing mga good words, inspirational words from other people. Yan, nakaka-inspire kasi yun. Kasi yung mga balita-balita lang dyan na uh, lahat negative, no? Uh, wala, it, that, it does not uh, add to our inspiration but it will pull us down. It discourages us. That's why we need to listen kung ano yung mga positive. So we will feel the symphony of Christ. Okay, so let's now pray. <clears throat> Father, please enable us to see what we can be with others, 
with our eyes on your Son, with reliance on your Spirit, with a growing awareness of what you can do, with a noisemaker like us. Bless us, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, it's so nice to hear the symphonies of praise. God bless us all guys because I know God bless us 10 times better. This is again your service TV. Kita-kita tayo balitahan sa muli. Paana!